hey guys how are you all doing so i hope you're having a great day now today we're going to be covering an idea just a, an illustration I'm going to be showing you techniques on how we are going to be uh, covering making this emoji here um i'm going to open up my i'm going to go to a new file i'm going to open up a new file and uh, i'm going to just kind of sketch it up this is an inspiration uh it's obviously not a new idea i've seen it before uh, in in recent in some emojis but i kind of like this this type these types of emojis uh they're not the, the general kind of emojis you see so i just thought maybe let me try to make that one now here yeah, i'm going to be uh quickly i'm going to just draft out the the idea uh to show you exactly how it's going to be it's going to this is going to be just a rough sketch so it's going to be like a circle like that right and then we shall have maybe eyes here and we shall have uh the mouth here and it's like happy okay and then uh, we shall have maybe the eyebrows and then uh, showing that it's smiling and then it it will have a thumbs up sign there okay so this is a thumbs up sign and then a thumbs up sign as well this side so something like this okay so it's not going to be really too much uh, but but I, I thought I would start by showing you uh, just a rough idea so I'm going to be sketching it from uh, my head but obviously I've seen it before and I know how it should kind of look like maybe I hope I can pull it off okay so we start we're going to start by pulling out some guides uh, on your rulers just go to con uh, I'm going to go to control R and uh, so if you want to follow along feel free uh, just feel free to follow along if you want to so here I'm going to make first of all a ruler that is just because I'm going to be using this as my center point and with that having been done I'm going to draw a circle right so here I have the ellipse tool holding down shift and alt at the same time I'm going to get that angle and then I'm going to just extrapolate it now I'm going to give this a base color and the stroke let me give let me give it uh, let me give it a base color of uh, this base color is uh, that that okay so it's going to be that base color and a stroke I'm going to give it uh, a brown stroke so again I'm going to give it a kind of like a, a slightly darker stroke and I can increase the pixels to maybe about three or, or something like that so of course of course we're going to be doing various things but you don't have to worry next thing I'm going to do is now this is this is on an, its own layer I'm, I'm going to leave it there just for the sake of organizing it and uh, I'm now going to go to again getting my ellipse tool this time I'm going to draw out again some circles but these circles are going to be acting like uh, let, let me let me just say they're going to be concentric in nature in nature okay so I'm going to just draft out a circle like this now this circle is going to be I'm going to give it a different fill color. I'm going to give it uh, a yellowy, yellowish fill color like that. And I'm going to take away its stroke, of course. So, um, so here after the, after doing this, let me let me just temporarily let me just do that. Turn this off. So let me just. Turn this off so I can see exactly what I'm doing. Let me leave it on. 
So I'm going to go here to this circle that I just made now, and then I copy and paste in front. Now, this new other circle, I'm going to just scale it down. So pressing V, I'm going to bring my tool here, this selection tool, and I'm going to scale it to scale this circle down. So essentially here, what I'm going to try doing is actually to make some sort of concentric circles. So again, there is no single way of doing these things, but uh, you get the idea. So what I'm doing here, I'm making a concentric circle because I'm going to give this the same, uh, the same stroke and same fill. So by doing this, for example, I'm going to go, just come over here and the way to have the same stroke and same fill. Now I've already discussed what the idea that I'm going to do here is blending this, these two shapes. Okay. So here, for example, when I have when I have this, okay, I can go over here and then turn this off. Uh, so I'm going to decrease the opacity to zero. I'm going to take away to make this transparent by putting its opacity to zero. That's the bigger circle that is below and should be below and then a smaller circle on top right so i'm going to blend both both of these two circles together so here we have object blend and then before if you're doing it for the first time you go to blend options now in blend options you'll find here where it says smooth color specified steps and specified distance you go to specified steps and Put in a value, say I put in 250. So you put in a value between 250 and 300, whatever you want, and then click OK. And then go back to uh, Object, Blend, and Make. So here, what essentially what we are doing was to add a little bit of dimension to this object here uh, to, 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 to make it feel like it's it has dimension to it because in so doing it helps us to kind of come up with the, the kind of emoji or the kind of effect or feel we want you'll see at the end of the of the of the video okay so along this line is going along this vertical line here it's going to be my guiding tool so very quickly i'm going to leaving this alone again i'm going to create a new layer by the end of this we may have so many layers but never mind so i'm going to just come over here and i'm going to just create circles now these circles are going to be for the eyes right so uh, they're not going to be exactly uh circular because this emoji i don't think it has circular eyes as, as much but, but I'm going to give them this uh, kind of shape just just here on the over shape and then just dragging out an approximate shape. Okay, and I'm going to pick my uh, tool here, my eyedropper tool, and just sample the darker color. Okay, so I'm going to sample the darker color there and I take off its stroke. And uh, I'm going to just reposition it. Now, the, the thing is, uh, I, the reason why I'm using the guides is because I want it to be approximately uh, in line with just like that, that first circle. So the eyes are going to be kind of there like that. Okay, so I'm going to just approximate the area. So I'm going to leave this here and I'm going to make a duplicate of it just by hovering once you here on the selection tool I'm going to go over here and then I press alt on my keyboard so it brings up those two double arrows the white one and black one so that it enables me to duplicate the eye and then bring it this this other side okay so with with this being done it's going to I'm going to kind of just distort this eye a little bit because I just I just want to make it feel a little different. Obviously, the eyes aren't always like you. You always don't find uh, 
it's always not the same, the same eye, like the, the eye opening, it's not like it's always the same thing, it's not necessarily always this is the case, but uh, you get the point. I can, I can maybe position this eye just a little bit down below, just on the line here, on this grid line, uh, because it's going to hit the, the, the angle of the, the, this emoji that I'm envisioning is it has this slanted the slanted eye or the slanted head like it's it, it has the head slanted to the side so the eyes aren't, uh, are not on the same uh, they're not on the same direction that's, that's what I mean they're not on the same line okay so next part is um, i'm going to go here and i'm going to create an art brush now quickly creating an art brush is just how i'm going to do it is uh, i'm going to go click here with my pen tool click one point click on the next point with your shift key okay so i'm going to click with my shift key on the next and then bring back to the original point and then just drag out because what I want to do is to make that kind of shape which has two uh, sharp ends, okay, to it, and then a, a, a bulged uh, a bulged middle section, but uh, the 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 corners are like sharp. And I'm going to give it a fill of black and a stroke, okay, so. Here we have our fill color which is black and stroke of that and then I'm going to go to my selection tool with my selection tool open I'm going to go to the brushes section and in the brushes section I'm going to uh, call it if you don't see your brushes section uh, you probably have to go to here where it says windows help uh, here windows and then go to brushes or just press f5 on your keyboard and then you'll get the brushes panel there and then come over here where it says new art brush or new brush sorry and then just go to where it says art brush show so we we select art brush click ok it's going to prompt us to give it a name now for the sake because i have so many brushes around i'm going to call it emoji or emoji brush whatever and then i'm going to leave everything as it is and i'm going to click ok so here we shall have our emoji brush right there and you can delete this now you don't need it so the next part we're going to do is to we're going to now begin creating uh, some funny shapes that, that will begin bringing out the idea that we are trying to make here but don't worry we shall come back to the eyes very very soon so I'm going to bring in, let me probably zoom in a little bit. And then again, you pardon my laptop because it's, its memory is a little bit low, but. So here, what we have, essentially we have this eye. Now what we want is, um, we, we want, uh, I, I want a shape to come over here and kind of cut over like that okay like uh, but probably before before we do that maybe it's a better thing if I do the eye first let me let me do the eyes first again so with this with this other shape again I'm going to just click in and just make a rough selection of an eye area I'm going to make a cornea don't worry you can make it outside and and just drag it in and reposition it okay and uh, you can press V on your keyboard and try to scale it to make it fit what you want it to look like so here I want it to kind of, I, I want the emoji to have like some kind of funny eye like that but uh, 
that's the first part of the that's the first i section we're going to go to the gradient section and uh, i'm going to make it a little bit teary eyed again like i said i've seen this before so i kind of know something that i'm doing i have an idea it's not like i i'm just thinking of it from my head no i'm not so here we i want to give this a, a color okay so i'm going to give it let's say blue here let me give it white okay let me give it maybe white in there and um, bluish on the on the sides now that maybe i can reduce the, the darkness or oh, no it's too much okay that would work but uh, okay we shall see okay and then i'm going to decrease the opacity when you click here on those uh, controls here it will give you an opacity where you can decrease the opacity like that if you want but it gives it the opacity isn't really very nice so maybe i can change the color instead to a different blue um, that, but that's still too much so i can come over here and kind of reduce it like this okay so just, i just want it to be a little bit subtle but still retain its property of being blue just like that about that about that okay uh again i'm going to do the same thing for this eye but for that for that purpose let me just duplicate this again with your selection tool just click over here and just drag over this side right and then we oh, oh sorry so click your control uh, sorry your alt on your keyboard and then just drag together and then release and then distort this to come in shape now here i have a rough idea of like uh, the the areas that i want i want to leave it uh, like this and now i'm going to create other uh, the inner section now the the one with which has the the cornea for for the sake they call it the cornea i guess so for the cornea again i'm going to just drag out another circle a smaller size i'm going to position it in place So what I'm trying to do is to figure out how it can be looking directly at me. And uh, what I'm going to do now is, again, I'm going to give this a different color now. I'm going to give this um, a different color. I'm going to give it a, a very dark. Let me give this a blue in here. Let me give it that blue. Uh, maybe a light blue that blue and then a, a dark blue there so that it will create uh, that kind of effect okay and uh, i can i can again copy and paste in front that's control c control f by the way copying and pasting in front is control c control f and i'm going to scale it at its center by clicking shift and alt and just scale it down so that it scales right at the center right there like that and so this inner part will give it a, a different color so i'm going to make this one black the inner part and uh, i can bring up the blob brush tool here and i just th this 
brush to see a blob brush or shift B making this a white background with no stroke I'm going to just quick a little uh, painting some two light sections there and uh, there so here we we now have uh, it's an, an eye and uh, so I'm going to again do the same thing for for this side as well okay so so then again here once you have this tool again I'm going to bring by my, my blob brush tool and uh, I do the same thing there like that and there now essentially we have we have two eyes and we zoom in a little bit we want it to kind of have uh, a sense of okay so it's it's kind of all right so but it's not very very perfect so we're going to make a little bit of some a few adjustments so here uh, first of all, I'm going to give this these two. I'm going to give them a stroke, all right. Wait a minute. I'm going to give them each a stroke of uh, kind of the same color. Let me just get this. And for this, I'm going to give it a stroke also. Um, yeah, maybe it will look much better than. And then with that, I'm going to resize this. This one maybe I should resize it a bit. And uh, this, these eyes here. Nope. Yes. These two. Actually, you know what? Let me group these ones. So that I know what I'm doing if in case I need to change something. Okay. So I can also maybe reduce this a little bit. And essentially now I have uh, I have created kind of an eye section. Now the next part that I want to do is to go ahead and uh, do that part that uh, I'm going to add a few kind of maybe not really eyelashes but they look like eye eyelashes but uh, you see here when you start from let's say here and uh, and I come over down here and I just extrapolate it like this okay. Uh, and then give this maybe a stroke without a feel okay and I'm going to give it go here to the weight section of the stroke or go here and uh, look for, and, and go to the stroke down here so once you go once you go to the stroke down here you will see that you you can you can now you can now go over here and change the stroke width 
but but before we change the stroke width, if we go back to the brushes that we created and go just click emoji brush and it will change it to that emoji thing we created so it has this kind of effect here and we're going to make it a little bit bigger turn down like that okay maybe about that area like uh, like that okay maybe you can also reduce if you want you can reduce its width or what whatever or well, we can leave it at, at about that area okay and now if you want to reduce the width we can go to the emoji brush just click emoji brush And then it will bring up the setting of op the setting the options and then just reduce uh, its fixed width okay or it's just whatever it calls it fixed width and then click ok and then it will prompt you to apply that to the stroke and say apply and it will reduce the stroke uh, dimensions so once that is done what you want to do next is um, what you want to do next now we now we, we are going to go back to the layer section here and we're going to copy and paste in front ctrl c ctrl f uh, and we're going to basically we're going to divide uh, this area with these objects so so uh, I'm bringing this part here uh, this one down below so that it's together with this uh, with these two I, the eye that I'm going to remove and everything so again you can also do it with this but I'm going to leave it at that and then I'm going to just divide I'm going to come over here and then click divide now it will give me these two shapes here okay so once it gives me those two shapes so which the two shapes now that it has given me uh the shape you see this shape here okay so for example when you turn that off so there is that shape there that it has removed okay so as if you look there you can see it so now i'm going to click here and remove this just delete it so essentially what that has done if i remove this you can see that it has made that part right there so if i go back and turn on my uh, my that part that other section you can see that it's not there anymore okay so that's the first part again i'm going to go and do it over to this side and on this side i'm going to again come up with another part So here I'm going to get my pen tool. So here you can come to your pen tool right there. And uh, make sure that's selected there. And then just click once here. And again, I'm going to just make a rough section. Let me give it let me give it a fill and then go to the brushes and then just click emoji brush so on the emoji brush again as you may see it's uh kind of so i think i will have to reduce maybe the eyes we shall see but again we can resize this pull it up or pull it down a little bit maybe like that and again we're going to do the same thing so go to the layer section this is our shape copy and paste in front ctrl c ctrl f so bring this shape down here so that it's on top of this uh on top of 
uh, let's put it on top of this layer here okay let's let's turn this one off so we want it on top of that layer and uh, this layer okay so we're going to select this one this and that and then again we're going to do the same thing we're going to go to divide so what that has done it has made a group in which it has divided those areas for us it has removed uh, those areas so if you for example see that you click there and then drag it out delete it this part as well drag it out and delete it and again uh, this part you drag it and delete it so that when you turn back on your layer you, that other part just like that okay so that's that's the that's the other part and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make uh, another area here which is kind of going to be leading into the mouth again so again click here and just drag like that and uh, again go back to your art brush click emoji brush so again you can resize it however much you want and uh, fully rotate it as well a little bit so it's going to give something like this okay and then again you're going to come over here and kind of do the same thing so over here just come over let, let me approximate around there just do that art brush emoji brush you can uh, resize it however much you want so so with this we now have two shapes okay so that we're going to connect these two shapes together so those are our two shapes right there and we're going to get our pen tool we click there like that and then click uh, here and just pull out because we're going to make something like the mouth okay so we just want to make something that is kind of similar to the to a smiley uh, mouth and we will give it uh, this the, the shape uh, let me call it let me cancel that I'm going to, let me just make it the same color as uh, as those other parts up there okay so here we are almost um, we're not almost done but yeah we shall get there we shall get there so the next i'm going to just keep it to the sake of whatever i'm just going to work on a new layer now because it will get disturbing and i'm going to now do another thing again i'm going to make the mouth now i'm going to the, the mouth is essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this part here using using my guides like this and it will, it will curve over here like this and then it will bring it will be there so working with this layer here I'm going to kind of bring it this and maybe make this let me make and um, so here then i'm going to just make it like this the reason why i'm doing this is because i don't want to follow this path again so what i'm going to do for that i'm going to duplicate this layer here copy paste in front and then i'm going to bring this shape into this mouth here because I'm going to intersect them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this shape and then this shape and just go to intersect. 
So when you intersect, sorry, it gives that, but I'm going to I'm, I'm going to do the opposite. So the opposite of intersect is minus back. So it's the, this is minus front. So when you click, it gives you this. Okay, so the, so we this is what we want. So sometimes it confuses me, but yeah, this is what we want. Okay. So then again, we have this. Now you can see that the mouse is not so fine. And the way we can do, we can make it a little bit smooth. You can go to the pencil tool here. Just go here to the pencil tool, get the smooth tool, and then just go over the areas which you think aren't, are not so perfect, like that, for example. Uh, so the areas that maybe you want to change or whatever, you just go by them and then uh, it will be fine. The teeth, again, I'm going to use kind of the same strategy or like kind of a similar thing. I'm going to just, what? I'm going to copy here like this. Sorry, to click with my pen tool, click there, and then click on another part over this side. And I'm going to drag out like this so that I can make uh, the, uh, a, a kind of structure like that. And then the next part, I'm just going to close that out. And what I'm going to do again, I'm going to bring in one shape from here. So maybe I can use again that mouth lining right there. So again, with that on top and this, so I'm going to just minus front and it will be filled in like that. So then I'm going to make the teeth white with no stroke. So once you click out, now you'll see that you'll have that part of the teeth, okay? And the next part is the tongue. Uh, now the tongue, again, I'm going to use a similar approach. Again, I'm going to go over to the pen tool, and I'm going to sketch out the tongue. Again, like I told you guys, I've seen this before, so I know it's going to look similar to this. You should find it somewhere. And then I'm going to close this out like this. Then I'm going to uh, get, get the mouth, copy, paste in front, because I just want to use a copy of the mouth together with the, with this tongue. Again, with both of them selected, I'm going to press intersect. So it intersects both the mouth and the tongue. Now this tongue, I'm going to give a color, a, a gradient actually. And maybe when we go to gradient here, we're going to give it, let's give it a linear gradient. Uh, a linear gradient with no stroke. Going to give it a linear gradient, but its color is going to be. Let's go to the swatches. We we'll use maybe a color, a uh, color here, and a, a darker color this side. Let's give it. Uh, let's let's give it a darker, a darker color this side, and a lighter color this side. But this side is not actually a lighter color, but a very, very light color of this version of red. So let me see, let me say this color around there. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to go to my gradient tool here, get my gradient tool or G on your keyboard and just click like this. So maybe the, I can change this on like this color. Can change it to a darker red by going here. I'm giving it this color.
and then uh, this is going to be the tongue area and now uh, this other part this mouth actually it's supposed I'm going to give it its own gradient now this its own gradient is going to be linear hopefully and by the way it's going to be so it's okay it's going to be down like here I'm going to re remove the stroke again and I'm going to make uh, this this I'm going to give it a different gradient I'm going to make this dark a very dark version of red like that and this I'm going to make a slight top slightly lighter version of that color okay of red just like that so when when you when you when you see scale down depth you find that it has uh, that kind of effect where it's giving that now I can let me let me let me just I don't like the way the tongue, sorry, the teeth is. I'm going to give it a stroke. Of that color. Okay, so uh, here again, that's 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 what we have now. Uh, don't know why this eye is really disturbing me. Now let me first quickly group this. I'm going to group them together so that I can also play around with them, get them to where I like them. So here so far, this is what I have. When you go back to the first part here that we did, remember these areas we're going to just duplicate this same thing we're going to just uh, we're going to copy and paste it in front so in other words we have two blends right there and on this one on this blend the top blend we're going to decrease its its size because we're going to give it a different color. Here, yeah, essentially, what I'm doing is I'm trying to I'm trying to blend. Uh, I'm trying to create a shine on these two areas. So uh, having scaled down both of these, so what I want to do is uh, I'm going to make this a very lighter color. So I'm going to go here on this first part and then I make, if it may be this color here, okay, same as this. This one. give it that color then put this transparency to zero so we now have this blend here okay but we we don't we don't want it to be too much like this so what we can do for this blend we can reduce it reduce its opacity say 30 or 50 or whatever so here we have kind of this subtle three-tone colors you, as you may see it's very very subtle two more things on the face before we go to before we go to the, the hands here I have uh, I'm going to make an eyebrow 
here I'm going to make two eyebrows first one is going to come from here maybe there Maybe they are like this. Okay, and I'm going to change it so just like that. So that's that's like the first eyebrow. Second eyebrow again is going to be this side, just kind of above this eye okay so I have kind of this area okay so this is what I have, okay, showing excitement and stuff, right, and finally on the face, okay, okay, like not really finally, but on the face, uh, we can, we can do, let me just go here with a block brush tool, okay, the blue brush tool I'm just going to go here then go up over here let's let's put a new layer go to the blue brush tool make it white with no stroke and we're going to just paint in just a few things just that um, And then again, we're going to blur all these things. So, I'm going to just do this. Then here, um, maybe I can decrease a little bit here as well. So, all these shapes, I'm going to select them. And I'm going to give them a blur. So go to effect, blur, Gaussian blur, and give them a blur. Let me give, let me see. Um, give them a subtle blur like that. It, it just adds uh, shape and definition to this emoji that you are creating finally I'm going to create another not finally I'm over saying finally but I'm actually we're still working on something and then I'm going to create another kind of funny tool maybe here like this and uh, I'm going to give it this color okay so maybe if I zoom in here real quick what I'm going to do is again I'm going to blend both of these shapes and I've already covered this how to do this so again it, essentially what you're going to see me doing is getting these these two shapes let me turn this off real fast real quick so that it doesn't give you a hard time what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this this shape okay and I'm going to uh, essentially copy and paste in front. So Ctrl C, Ctrl F. I'm going to make this transparency here. I'm going to change its transparency to zero. But before that, I'm going to get the the top shape, and then click A on your keyboard, and then just kind of uh, make a smaller version of this game. I. I I've covered this in a, in my tutorial on 
making portraits. This technique of shape to shape blending. Uh, so again, if you want, you can check that out. If you want to learn how to make, by the way, more tutorials will be coming on that. So once that is finished, make this zero, and then you're going to blend both of these. Now let's, let's get back to zero right there. Get all these shapes back, and we we now go to object, blend, and then make blend. Okay, so it's making that kind of blend. All right, so there it is. And now we can, what you're going to do is we're going to copy the same shape, just alt on your keyboard with your V, V on your keyboard to bring up that selection tool. And then just hover over your mouse and then bring it over to this side. Let's increase this area here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to flip it over. Again, I'm, I'm kind of rushing through this because I don't want to make this tutorial so long for you. Uh, so we can distort this a little bit and then do that, do all sorts of things you want. And then essentially now we have kind of uh, some interesting detail on, on, on the whatever on the cheeks so you can call maybe you can reduce the opacity if you want some just some interesting bits of things of details so maybe the lighting is coming from this side now we can add lighting as well so we can come over here uh, let me I hate working to me with too many shapes but just to keep the work organized I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to uh, draw another kind of, again, I'm going to do a shape to shape blend here. So you can skip this part if, if you already know what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is just creating another shape around here. And with this shape, I what I'm doing is I'm going to now give it another let me go to this copy paste in front this is the one i'm going to use let me bring this shape inside there okay don't worry about that and then we're going to intersect them okay all let's, let's intersect them see how it comes out okay we, we now have that let's remove the stroke of that and we're going to give this shape a we will give it a fill a fill color of uh, a very strong fill color let's give it that fill color white and uh, we're now going to copy and paste it in front just like that and we're going to reduce the opacity so we're going to re reduce the shape of the upper the size of the upper shape we're going to reduce it to go really down I think I'll be explaining this technique more in future but it's really helpful again there are very many ways of doing these things but uh, you find this this is one of the easiest ways I know so but there are other ways okay so it's not only one way So with that, we have a smaller shape on top and a, a bigger shape down, and then we can decrease the opacity of the bigger shape and on the smaller shape, and we're going to blend them. In, there is a shortcut for this, by the way. It's Alt, Control, and B, and then Make, and it essentially just does that work for you for of blending both of them. And what you can now do is you can change the opacity a little bit uh, so that once you go down you you may have you may see that it's kind of it, it maybe not maybe let's see uh,
you, you could leave it like that if you want, or you could, you could you can even change the colors once you blend them like this is what this is one of the advantages that I like why I like doing it this way. Okay. Um but let's put it at a hundred and we're going to blur it so effect goes in blur. See the effect of the blur, how much it will be. It's essentially creating just a, a shine, okay? Okay, I think I'll go with that, okay? So I, I'll, I'll go with that uh, for the sake of time. But uh, it's, it's it's important, like you understand how, how the, the process. So I don't I don't I don't, I don't really like how much uh, thing. I, I've, I'm here. I'm just reducing the the stroke of the outer shape. So I think that will be enough stroke. Now we we are done. You can we can actually do a lot a lot of tweaks to this emoji but we are i promise you we are done for now we are not going to touch this emoji again for now what i want to do now is to go on to the other parts of creating the i'm going to now go to the part of creating the hand or those thumbs up okay now uh, with a quick how i see that shape those shapes Okay, working on a new layer again. It's not necessary to work on a new layer. It's just that I get confused if I mix too many things in one layer. That's why I just use different layers. Okay, so when I see uh, these, um, so when I see the hands, okay, so for example, there, there is that part and then there is this part, and then there is that part. Okay, maybe a part like close like this. Okay, but you see this part here, okay, this whole part here, it to me it's, it's it's just like one circle, and then there is another part here that goes like that. Okay, so for me this part here, this this area here, it's just like a circle to me. All right. And then these, these to me, I'm also treating them as smaller circles. So that's why my strategy is going to be to create three circles. And then I blend them together. And then I make a, another circle here. And I also put this there. Okay, so I think it will give kind of something similar. But again, if you know a different way of doing this, so I, I, I highly welcome that. I would be very, very happy if you show me how to do that. But uh, essentially, that's what I'm going to do. So to, to, to begin off, I'm going to uh, kind of come over here. I'm going to create three circles, very three small, small circles. And I'm, going, I'm not going to constrain the proportions. I'm, I'm just going to create, let me just make, uh, let me just give them this, let me just, Give that a stroke, and then in with V on my keyboard, I'm going to duplicate this and just make three circles that are intersecting, something like this, because this part is going to be one part of the thumb, then this part, then this part. That's how I see it. Okay, so with all of these selected, I'm going to go to my Shape Builder tool or Shift M, I think. Yeah, Shift plus M gives you the Shape Builder tool. With the Shape Builder tool, we see when you pass over that, it, it kind of creates shapes. So I'm going to merge all these three together. So with all these three merged together, now I have this weird shape. Okay, so the next part, I'm going to create a bigger circle. So just 
clicking and dragging don't worry about how it's going where the, its placement so yet i'm going to just click and drag it over let me zoom in here because i think many of you may not be seeing what i'm doing so i'm going to what i'm going to do is i'm going to, I'm going to try to reposition uh try to make this come in uh let me let me let me because again the hands aren't symmetrical so it's not a big issue so but if i can make this blend with this part like that and also decrease this area to blend in with this part okay so like this so 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 this part just is like that and then when i get my shape builder tool i'm going to see for example when i pass over here i, I see that this is still uh let me select both shapes i can see that here i need to kind of Again, this is still connected to that, so I need to divide them. So what I'm going to do again, I'm going to just quickly get my tool here. I'm going to just bring it in a little. Like that. Select all of them, go to the Shape Builder tool, and you can see now that it's you can now form two different shapes. I'm going to just click once here and it's going to create that shape here so once it creates that shape i'm going to just come over here and delete it so backspace uh, then again i'm going to go over and select all of them again and now i'm going to connect sorry i'm going to get my shape builder tool i've connected both those parts i'm connecting this part as well so it's going to create these two here. Now I'm just eyeballing this thing. It's not really the way to do it. Maybe I know there is there is someone with a, a brilliant idea on how to do this, but um, this is how I'm doing it now. Again, with my uh, smoothing tool, I'll, I've just smoothed out those parts and maybe this part as well. Any parts that you feel aren't working properly, and I'm going to delete any useless stuff. So now I have this part here. The next thing that I want to do is to add like some sort of, you know, those. And I can go over and do that by going here. And uh, doing that. So with a pen tool. Okay, so essentially I have um, I have this. Okay, now with this the, I can let me let me uh, go again here, and I'm going to get this pen tool, and I'm just going to create another okay so like uh, okay so here i'm creating the thumb i think you can see that okay so here i've created the thumb right so don't worry i'm going to, the thumb is going to be uh, behind the, the hand with the thumb behind the hand it's going to be okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill this layer with the best color of uh, our emoji that we created so i'm going to come over here and then fill it uh, I'll, i've just i'm just filling it with that best color and of course it's going to take on the stroke as well i'm going to do the same thing with uh, the thumb now bring the thumb below the i don't want to i could intersect them but i don't want to because uh, things you'll see why i don't really want to do that 
So I'm going to just add a few details to make the thumb a little bit as realistic. Sorry, I mean to add dimension to the thumb, just as I, I added a little dimension. But before we do that, I'm, I'm going to change the stroke of this to maybe three pixels. Around. It's too much. Let me say, two, it's 2.5, I think. No, it's not. I'm going to change it to two pixels. Maybe two pixels is about all right. So two pixels, yeah, I can work with that. And again, uh, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to trace out some areas which I'm going to, which will be working as uh, the, 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 that will give dimension to this shape. So let me just quickly sketch out like light areas and shadow areas now you may be wondering why those shapes have disappeared it's because this thing has a stroke i mean sorry a feel let's remove the feel and we shall be fine so again we're going around those areas those are those are lanes of their own but uh, we're just trying to make them fit. And uh, with this, this new shape, I'm going to give it a, a lighter color. I'm going to give it this secondary color here. Ah, uh -uh, not that one. I'm going to give it this color, yeah. That color is much better. So what I'm going to do is copy, paste in front. I'm going to resize the, the big, the, the top shape. To make a smaller version. Now the reason why you do this and is because when you're blending, actually, the blending happens uh, on the nodes because the transition between the colors it happens at the nodes that's why we have to have oh sorry what that we have to have the same uh, we have to have the same number of points or those anchor points for those two shapes to blend very well otherwise it will blend really terribly uh, that's why I always copy and paste in front unless you're working with shapes that are defined like a circle for example that may may have like four anchor points that you have made yourself or like shapes that but shapes that are irregular you may want to follow this procedure so here we're just turning down the past to zero and uh, this here like that so we need this opacity to be at 100 okay so we are now going to blend them so it's control sorry it's shift alt and b control alt b so it's control alt and b and you have uh, a blend or again as you you've seen before you can just go to object blend and make so but as you may see now it's not really uh, perfect so but don't worry you can zoom in here a little bit try to make a little changes in here now with my direct selection tool, let me just there is nothing I'm really doing here. I'm just refining the blends. Okay, so here once I have this shape I can actually uh, if 
you want you could blur it as well one tip when you're blurring and your machine is not very fast you can always scale it down to this scale down to the, the, the thing to the zeroth position so that the blur the blur acts properly otherwise it will keep giving you hard time so okay so here we have kind of something slight something going on so uh, what we can do is we can put these shapes on top okay so that we have something like that okay so we have a little bit of dimension going on okay so we can also bring our uh, blob brush tool or shift b and uh, just simply pass over like that so maybe we can increase that area and then we just that can do that as well do that and do that now these ships that we've made can one decrease the opacity we can blur them Perfect. Goes in black. See how that goes. Let me give them a blow of forty-four, and then I uh, I will change the opacity a little bit. Uh, so it's kind of something going on there so it's yeah it's like it gives it a little bit of dimension if you, if you, if you know what i'm saying so yeah and then again finally uh the thumb so with the zoom tool so you can see this appears to be on a higher ground like bigger than oh sorry higher and then low and then low and then high and then low and then yes that's what i was going for anyway so here again on the thumb here i'm just what i'm doing is basically playing with light interactions and i'm going to give this color One hundred percent. So can zoom in here. So copy paste in front and then this we're going to put it to zero. But before we do that we can just uh, select the top shape A on the keyboard. Just decrease its size. Okay. So with the size decreased, again you can now, now put this at zero transparency, the down one I mean, the larger shape, and then we're going to blend them. Okay. Shortcut Control Alt B blends them very quickly preview to see what we want for a blur okay so there we have it and again we can bring the uh, blur brush tool and we we just mark out some highlights all right and um, don't worry we are now coming to an end and uh, so 
So effect, Gaussian blur, preview. Oops, that's too much blur. It's about it. So again, we have that thing. So the next part we're going to obviously make this shape. So it's kind of smaller and then bring it over there. Okay. So like that, for example, and we can, we can make two in this as well on that. Just some funny shapes there. This is one shape. Duplicate it, make this distort it a little, bring it back up, yeah, oh boy, cause Z, why? And just decrease the opacity 70%. Okay. All right. So, next part, just duplicate this, and uh, that's Alt on your keyboard. Bring it this side, and then uh, click what they call that transform, and then reflect. So, of course, it will prompt you area like that is that what you want you click if you're making a copy click copy but you're not making a copy we are making an original and click ok so again if you can you can try and make a different one you can uh, play out with different styles try and see if you can um, come up with a different a better version of how to do this but this is what I wanted to say today and uh, I hope you found value in this tutorial. Let me know in the comment section and try other emojis. Let me know if you want, if you find any challenging one. Again, uh, feel free please to submit it and I'll be very, very glad to uh, do a tutorial to help you figure out how it goes, okay? So this is this was my version of the emojis that I like. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for if you learned anything, and uh, I wish you all the best. And speak to you soon. Bye.